Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. One of the questions that everyone is always asking me is how do I take a screenshot in Windows 10? You just want to capture your whole desktop, maybe an individual window. Just take a capture, you get an image, and you can send it to someone via email or whatever. Well, as it happens, there are actually five different methods in Windows 10 where you can take a screenshot and you don't need to install any extra software at all. So, let's take a look. So the first technique is the print screen button. So here we have uh, the Brave web browser with a lovely website loaded, and all I want to do is just take a screenshot of the whole screen. So all I have to do is actually press the print screen button. Now, usually print screen is its own key on your keyboard, but if you have a laptop, uh, you may have something else on the key. It may say like print screen on top and sysrq on the bottom, like my laptop here. So in that case, I have to press shift print screen. If it only says PRTSCR on the button, you just have to tap the button, no shift key. So I'm going to hit shift print screen. And as you can see, nothing at all happens. But what has actually happened is the entire desktop has uh, been turned into an image and that image is copied to the clipboard in Windows. So let's click start and run lovely Microsoft Paint. And then what we're going to do is go to paste, and there you go. That is now an image, a snapshot of my desktop, and I can just come up here and do file, save as. I can save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a bitmap, or a GIF. And of course, Microsoft Paint is built in to Windows 10, so you don't need any extra software. Well, okay, that's kind of handy, but it's kind of annoying because, sure, you hit print screen, but then you have to actually paste the image into some kind of image editing app like Paint or, or Paint.net. So is there a way to do this more easily? It turns out there is. You can actually hold down the Windows key and do Windows key print screen. So let's do that. Windows print screen. And you'll notice the screen dimmed there real quick. Well, what just happened? Well, if you open File Explorer and go to your Pictures folder, you'll discover a new folder called Screenshots. So now we go into Screenshots, and ah, there it is. That is the screenshot that I just took. So with Windows Print Screen, what happens is whatever's on your desktop, it takes a snapshot of it and it puts it into pictures slash screenshots, so you don't need Microsoft Paint or any other piece of software. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Well, all right, but uh, what happens if, say, I have uh, a couple windows open, so let's open VLC Media Player here, and uh, da, da, da. okay, so there's there's VLC, so I'm going to take that and drag it over here, and then I've got my Brave web browser, and so let's say I have multiple windows open, and all I want to do is capture the Brave web browser window. I don't want any of this other stuff, I don't want the taskbar. In that case, what you can do is you can select the window in this case, the Brave web browser, and you press Alt Print Screen. Hold down the Alt key and tap the Print Screen button. And again, it looks like nothing happened, but here again we have to go into a graphics editing app like Paint, and we could say Paste. And now you'll notice that instead of the entire desktop, Alt Print Screen took a screen capture of just a single window, whichever window is actually active. Okay, so that's not quite as convenient as the Windows print screen. Unfortunately, you can't do, you know, like Windows Alt print screen and have it capture just a window. But it's still kind of handy. Uh, it requires the one extra step to paste it into paint.net, but, you know, we'll live. It's free. So the next screen capture method in Windows 10 is the old snipping tool. So we click Start and we type snipping and we run the snipping tool, and there you go. Okay, so here, if you want to capture like a window, uh, it's a little bit goofy. You may want to set your delay to like three seconds, and then you say mode uh, window snip, and I'm going to try to capture the VLC media player. Because I actually set the delay to three seconds, now I actually have time to set the proper window, so I can say window snip, pick that one. Okay, perfect. Now, we've captured just the VLC media player window. And in the snipping tool here, you can actually 
edit it. You can, you know, use a highlighter and draw on it. You can, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Red pen, uh, or you can, you can save the image as whatever you want. Now that's the snipping tool. As I said, they're actually going to be getting rid of it because there's another method of doing screen capture in Windows 10, and that is snip and sketch. You just click the start button, type snip, and you can run snip and sketch. Now this is actually pretty nifty. This is the new snipping tool in Windows 10. Um, it kind of walks you through it, snip, uh, delay. It looks kind of the same. The way that I recommend using it is don't, don't run it that way. You should actually do hold down the Windows key, then type Shift S. So Windows Shift S. And when you do that, this little window at the top comes up. Now this is snip and sketch, but it's kind of a super handy way. So it says here, draw a shape to create a snip. Uh, you can do a freeform snip. You can do a window snip. You can do a full screen snip. So I can even say, uh, like, okay, let's do a freeform snip and let's just go. And there you go. The snip has been saved to the clipboard. Uh, if you want, you can click there and you can bring it up. You can edit it. You can do whatever you want. And then here, of course, you can click the save button and save this. And because there's a, well, it's not a standard shape. Uh, it's going to recommend that you save it as a PNG, but you can also save it as a JPEG or a GIF file. And the Snip and Sketch tool is, it's pretty powerful, it's pretty nifty. Uh, you can also do a Windows, Windows Snip, Windows Shift S, and you just come up here and say, uh, no, not full screen, yeah, Windows Snip. And then you can just select whichever window you want, and there you go. Now it saved it to the clipboard so you can paste it into an imaging app or you can just click the little notification there and boom, you can do your, your annotating or whatever you want to do. You can hit control Z to undo it. Uh, you can use this tool to crop the image. Uh, you have a ruler, you have an eraser, you have a highlighter, pen, pencil. Uh, you can, you, if you have a touch screen device, you can do touch writing. Uh, and then of course over here you can zoom, you can save. You can copy and you can even share the image that you just snipped. So there you have it. Five different ways of taking a screen capture in Windows 10. Uh, obviously the quick and dirty method is just print screen or uh, Windows print screen because that doesn't require any extra shenanigans. But for most people I would say just use the Windows Shift S keyboard shortcut and that will open the new snip and sketch tool because it's powerful, it's easy to use. Uh, it co copies the image to the clipboard and you can actually edit it in, in the application, the snip and sketch application itself. It's the most flexible and actually the most powerful. And frankly, I love the snipping tool from uh, older versions of Windows, but snip and sketch, I've kind of switched over to it because it's just super easy to do everything. And all you have to remember is Windows Shift S and you can do whatever you want. And you don't have to pay for any extra software. So there you have it. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.